Tomahawk TV News, Montague County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School. Hello, Montague County. This is Morgan Dyer. Welcome back. This week, Tomahawk TV News has a great addition for you. To start the show, Karen Gibbs has his weekly installment of the Movie Dumpster Review, where this week he will be reviewing the movie Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Chip. Welcome to the Movie Dumpster, the segment in Tomahawk TV News where I, Kieran Gibbs, tell you what's worth seeing and what's not. Last week I had the opportunity to review one of the best movies of 2015. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy while I review one of the worst movies of 2015. Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Chip. Nailed it! This film was directed by Walt Becker and written by Randy Singer and Adam Steichel. I don't even know where, where to begin with this. First of all, The Road Trip was released the same day as the new Star Wars film, mistake number one. Mistake number two, the rest of the movie. Now, the original three Alvin and the Chipmunks movies were not Oscar winners by any means, but have at least mediocre reviews when it comes to critics. But The Road Trip has a whopping 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. Not fresh. Not fresh at all. The writing is bad. I'm 99% sure that the director is just a name they made up, and the acting is equivalent to that of an after-school special in the 1970s. And a side note, I feel bad for Jason Lee. Lee is a talented actor who deserves better than a fourth Chipmunks movie. Maybe they'll bring back My Name is Earl. I don't know. I give Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Chip, one tomahawk out of five. This has been Kieran Gibbs. Thank you for watching, and thank God for Oscar season. Up next, Zach Boyd is answering the questions he's received this week for the Just Ask Zach segment. Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's segment of Just Ask Zach. I'm your host, Zach Boyd. Let's get this show on the road. Our first question comes from at Papulicious15 asked, Are you and Connor secretly in a relationship? Yeah, the keyword there is secret, though. What? Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Connor. It's, it's on the DL. Our next question comes from at TheGiveMeister16 asked, What did you think of The Force Awakens? Oh, dude, that new Star Trek movie was so cool. Yeah, they're totally going to kill you. And oh. I'm not going to stop them. So. What do you mean? Nothing. Just nothing. Oh, okay. okay. Our next question comes from at Professor Insult. Asked, why were you so sad over the holidays? Because I didn't get enough food. Who doesn't love food? I love food. If I don't get to eat food, I'll start crying. That's why. You should know, Rob. <laughs> Our last question comes in from at Desi underscore Ray 17. Asked, what if you changed the whole philosophy of your life and started asking questions instead of the one being asked? Well, then I wouldn't have my segment Just Ask Zach, and it wouldn't be freaking comedy gold. Yeah, it'd be Zach Just Asks. Duh. All right, that's it for this week, and thank you for sending, or th thank you for watching this week's, and please send, send in more questions. Oh, wait, we, we have another question coming in from at ConorBear4 asked, hey, do you want to see a magic trick? Yeah, you want to see it? Yeah, dude, I'd love to see a magic trick. Watch, I'm going to make your segment disappear. What? Thanks, Zach. And don't forget to submit your questions on Twitter or Instagram at Just Ask Zach. Now, Sabrina Matthews has the scoop on the UIL events for this school year. This is Sabrina Matthews with Tomahawk TV News. UIL signups have started this week. If you think you're good at spelling or doing math with your eyes closed, we have an event for you. Just talk to the teacher in charge of the subject you're interested in and get signed up. Here with us we have Ms. Odeno. Ms. Odeno, what event are you in charge of? The science event, which covers biology, chemistry, and physics. And what requirements does a student have to meet to be in UIL? Um, in any UIL, all they have to be is uh, meet the UIL requirements, so as long as they're able to play uh, basketball or, or football or whatever, it, it's all the same requirements there. So, And of course, there's a whole bunch of different categories, for, so they can pick anything that they like. <laughs> okay, and would you say the science category is the most fun? Of course it is. <laughs> well, thank you. This has been Sabrina Matthews with Tomahawk TV News, coming at you from Nakona High. Thanks, Sabrina. 
Don't forget to sign up for your favorite events this year. Connor Barrett and Jocelyn Wadlow have been looking for the latest and greatest videos in this week's Weekly Viral. Welcome to the Weekly Viral Review. This week, we're not going to be talking about anything viral or reviewing it. We're going to make you cry because your sadness feeds our happiness. Hope you got your permission slip signed because we're about to go on a feels trip. You know, like a field trip, but feels. Daddy is the sweetest daddy in the world. Mm -hmm. Daddy is the most handsome. Daddy is just great, but... He lies. He lies about having a job. He lies because of me. I hope you all got your tissues because it's only getting sadder from here. Because in no time she yeah. saw her brother oh, oh, this is great. on the oh. court, service member William Boyle. He'd been deployed in Afghanistan for the past year, and this is the day he came home to greet her and give her a big old hug, celebrate her last basketball game. Oh, look how emotional they both are. I mean, that scream that she... Better be ready for this one. It's going to make your heart bleed or cry, whichever one's worse or better. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, look at her over here. She's almost crying. <laughs> well, remember Nook on High School. Your tears fuel my joy. Thank you, guys. Your weather girl, Macy Melton, is here to tell you about this week's forecast. Hello, and welcome back to your weekly Tomahawk weather. I'm Macy with your report. Over the Christmas break, winter temperatures began to really set in, even bringing some light snow. Temperatures this week will range from upper 40s to mid 60s. Some rain is possible on Thursday and the rest of the week is cloudy. Usually beginning in June, hurricane season is getting an unusually early start this year as Tropical Storm Alex heads towards the Azores Islands near Portugal. This storm is expected to bring high winds and large amounts of rain. This incredibly early storm could be a result of a weakening El Nino. This has been your weekly Tomahawk weather. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Looks like it's going to be another cold week. Thank you, Macy. With Mardi Gras quickly approaching, there are tons of events coming up to help you celebrate. This year, the Nocona High School Band is adding a fun run on February 6th. All proceeds from the 5K go to the NHS Marching Band. The run starts at the First Methodist Church and ends downtown. The fee to enter the run is $30. This is a great way to kick off the Mardi Gras season and to support the band. Please contact Leanne Stroy or Lisa Melton if you are interested in, the, in running. The high school band will be playing at all of the water stops to motivate the runners. You don't want to miss out on the first annual event. Now, Cole Jackson is here with your weekly sports update.
Hello, Nakona High School. I'm Cole Jackson, and welcome to this week's edition of Tomahawk Sports. In local sports news this week, the Lady Indians and Indians both played City View here Tuesday. The Lady Indians won a close game, and the Indians beat up the Mustangs to gain another win in district play. They both played Jacksboro here on Friday. In national sports news, the AFC and NFC Championship are set. The New England Patriots and Denver Broncos are set to face each other in the AFC Championship game, making for another interesting matchup between two legends, Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. The Arizona Cardinals and Carolina Panthers will be facing each other in the NFC Championship game, which looks to be a great game against two very good teams. In other NFL news, the Heisman Trophy winner and recent national champion, Derrick Henry, has declared for the NFL Draft. The rematch of the last year's NBA Finals between the Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors turned out to be a beatdown by Golden State. The worst part of it all was that Cleveland was playing at home. That's it for this week in sports. Once again, I'm Cole Jackson, signing off for Tomahawk Sports. Thank you, Cole. Next up, Dylan Parker and Austin Waters are here with a video game story of the week. Hello, I'm Dylan. Welcome to another episode of Tomahawk Gaming News. This week we will be talking about a series of games that is only out on Xbox. We are talking about Halo, which was created by Bungie and taken over by 343 Industries. These games are rated M for Mature, so if you aren't able to play these games yet, you need to ask permission before playing these games. These are first-person shooters, but we are going to focus on the story of these games. Most of our footage is coming from the Master Chief Collection, which is a remastered of all the old games in one bundle. The first Halo game was Halo Combat Evolved. In this game, you are a Spartan called Master Chief, trying to stop an alien tribe called the Covenant from firing a weapon called the Halo Array. The Halo Array is made up of seven Halo Rings. The rings are made to eliminate Sentinel life in a galaxy to stop another alien race called the Flood from taking over. But the Covenant want to use the rings to eliminate anyone who stands in their way. It is up to you to stop them. Halo 2 starts off where Halo Combat Evolved ended, but the Covenant have discovered another ring and are attempting to gain its power once again. But there is a new character in game. In this game you will play as the Master Chief and an Elite called the Arbiter. He was the Elite who failed to stop Master Chief in the first Halo and received the Mark of Shame and is sent on suicide missions. Halo 2 has one of the best stories in the series and will keep you interested for hours. Halo 3 is the next one in the series. It is similar to the first two Halo story-wise, but has one of the best multiplayers in the series. Both the story of Halo 3 and the multiplayer are great, which makes it a great game to start out on if you don't want to play through the whole series. There is also Halo 3 ODST, which instead of Master Chief, you are a group of advanced Marines called ODSTs, which are the best of the best in the Marines. It's different than the other Halos, but it's still good. The next Halo game is Halo Reach, which is the prequel to the whole series. It has a good multiplayer and story, but has different characters than the iconic Master Chief. After Halo Reach, 343 Industries took over and made Halo 4 and Halo 5 Guardians. Halo 4 was not as good as it hoped, but if you are into the story of the games, then play this because the story takes a turn. Halo 5 Guardians, on the other hand, was a great game. It is good enough to compete with Halo 3. The only thing that is missing is split screen, but other than that, it is a great part of the series. Now for gaming news. Microsoft engineer Mike Yabara said to pay attention next week after someone asked about the next Xbox One update last week. So possibly a big system update coming up this week for Xbox One. Batman Arkham Knight DLC will be released this week for consoles. The DLC has already been out on PC. That's it for this week's Tomahawk Gaming News. Check back next week for everything to do with gaming. What you want? What you, what you want? This is the professor here. I want to teach you how to not be fat, how to not be slow, and how to be an athlete. So follow me and we'll do a journey. All right, I'm gonna do a little warm up here just to show y'all how to, you know, loosen your muscles up and be awesome. All right?
Every day you go to the gym, bro. Whenever you're working on your buys, your tries, your quads, your lods, whatever it may be, you always gotta know about one thing, bro, Tato Chip. Never let a woman see you weak, bro, Fester. I'll tell you one thing, Teddy Roosevelt. I like to drink a protein shake every time before I come in the gym to get that great pump in. I will never, ever disrespect your muscles, yourself, or the way you look, even though you may be fat. Always pump it, never drop it. And remember, never skip leg day, because then you'll wind up looking like Brendan Ramsey or E-Man, and that'd be bad. Always have your quads and thighs like a deer's neck, because women love thighs, I promise. Touch your knee on your squats, because don't be a girl. <laughs>。a few basic tips, rules to live by, if you always want to be the best. Rule number one, you're number one. Rule number two, don't let everybody, anybody else think that they're number one, because definitely you're number one. Rule number three, if you're in the gym and somebody's taking all the 45s and you notice that you're stronger than them, kick them in the back and take their 45s. Rule number four, always, and I repeat always, have a protein shake after you get done lifting. Rule number five, always realize that you are the best looking guy in there. I mean, I do, but maybe not you. I don't know how you look. Thanks for letting the professor teach you all the nice tricks about getting big, getting strong, looking good, and looking fit. I just want to let y'all know that I'll be here next week on Tomahawk TV News. Good job, Parker. Thanks for tuning in, Monte County. We will see you back next week. Tomahawk TV News, Monte County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School.